Leo wanted the cameo. She says, hello, fans. <laughs> so, the last week or so, I've been asking God before I go to bed. Um, well, actually, it started when I had that really terrible dream a few weeks ago, maybe almost a month ago. I've been asking God to help me remember my dreams because um, I used to remember them almost every night. But lately, I don't know if it's because I'm too tired or I'm sleeping deeper or whatever, but I haven't been remembering my dreams. And not that that is necessarily important to me in my life, but, you know, sometimes God has spoken to me in my dreams and sometimes I feel like things get settled out in my mind when I can remember my dreams. And sometimes they make no sense at all. I usually have very vivid, colorful, sometimes emotional, sometimes terrifying dreams. Um, I don't like the terrifying ones. Um, they usually keep me up afterwards. But So I've been asking God um, to help me remember my dreams, whether they be significant or not. And I have noticed the last three nights that I'm remembering them. And most of them are pretty whatever. I think I was applying makeup to myself in one dream, which <laughs> that could just be a memory because I do that every day. But last night I had a dream about um, a boy that I had a crush on in middle school. And that may have been like seventh grade. And in the dream, we were both adults. And it was a very just brief we were actually sitting on some bleachers. We were both adults and we were just sitting on some bleachers and they weren't our high school bleachers. They were my children's high school bleachers because they, my children go to a different high school than I did. And we were just sitting there having a normal, probably small talk chat. And that was it. But then when I was waking up and my mind starts rolling about this dream and this boy, um, I can say I had a crush on him, but not necessarily on him. What I had a crush on, I think, was his status, so to say. Um, because I have definitely dealt with, and I can say um, absolutely as a young person, and in most of my adult life, feeling insignificant. And... I know looking at, looking back at my behavior as a middle school girl, kind of, you know, probably chasing this boy, I wasn't attracted to him as far as I, I didn't really think he was particularly physically attractive or did I even like his personality. As I think about it, he was kind of arrogant and annoying, but, um, and he was, you know, <laughs> that awkward middle school boy look, which, yeah, I don't know. But what I, what attracted me to him, I think, is he had a position in the hierarchy of the group I was in. And being a insecure, shy, quiet, and not sure of myself young girl, I wanted to attach myself and be sat next to this boy at that age so I could feel some significance, so I could feel some importance. And even in my adult life, I'm realizing that dealing with this insignificance and feeling like I'm not important and I don't really matter to anyone. And I'm, I'm not saying I have that feeling today. I know I'm significant. I know I'm important to my family. I know that, you know, my husband loves and needs me. And I know that I would be sorely missed if I disappeared. So that feeling of insignificance is one of my, like, core problems that I've been working on in therapy. So it's not something that I'm currently dealing with. But it does come back time for, from time to time. But this pursuit of feeling significant, it, it's kind of baffling because at the same time, I don't want to be significant. 
I want to hide. I want people to notice me, but then leave me alone. I want them to think I'm important, but not. I want my words to be taken for what they are, wise or foolish, but then still not be commended for them too much. It's a complete paradox. It's just so, ugh. I, you know, my brain, sometimes I'm like, I have this constant, what the heck are you doing? Every time I look at, you know, I think about like, oh, I, I should do a video today. I should talk to my friends on the YouTube. And then my brain says, what are you doing? You're going to get attention. You don't like attention. But yet there's this wanting to feel significant and at the same time feeling insignificant. Wanting people to hear what you have to say because you stored it up in your mind for so long. And there's times where you feel like if you don't share those things, you're going to explode. But at the same time, you don't want anyone to hear them. So where am I going with this? I went to bed last night thinking, oh my gosh, I have 500 subscribers. And I'm so grateful for that. And it's absolutely unreal to me. I really thought like I would kind of settle out at 100. And then when I hit 200, it was kind of the same thing. Um, there's fear in it. You know, there's always that like, that's a lot of people to lead astray. Not that I'm leading anyone. I'm just talking, you know, I'm just sharing things. I'm not really leading anyone. But there's, again, this wanting to feel significant, wanting to feel important, wanting to share what has been stuck and circling in my head forever. And 500 subscribers is really exciting. I thought, yeah, I was going to stick around 100 because who in the world would want to sit and listen to me talk about myself and continue to listen? You know, was anything that I had to say significant? And that's the battle. So I had that dream. It was very just a quick brief, like I was sitting down with someone that I hadn't seen since high school saying, how is your life? What are you doing? The normal small talk thing that you do when you run into somebody. And then it just reminded me of my search for significance and my wanting to be uh, attached to something that would give me status, even though I despise status. I don't drive a fancy car or buy fancy things because I want someone to look at me and say, oh, look what she's got, she's important. I wanna be important or I want to have significance out of what I am, not what I have. So that was also probably my first experience with rejection. I don't have any pain over that, but it was just it's just really interesting that that memory or, you know, that dream would come up and remind me of, you know, my search for significance even though in my current relationship, in my current life I do feel significant. Have a good day, guys. I am off to work, and I will probably come on tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be out of town for the weekend. It is my birthday over the weekend, and my friend and I are going up to the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, to just have some easy, relaxed time and celebrate my birthday. So I don't know how much I'll post over the weekend, but today and tomorrow, and then maybe take a few days break. So live in love, out of the way you were created. Thank you so much. <laughs>